India's hypersonic ambitions are about to take flight. With Russia's recent Zircon missile test, the world is once again reminded of the unstoppable pace of missile technology. But for India, this is more than just global news. It's a signpost towards the future of the BrahMos-2. Today, we take a first look at the BrahMos-2 hypersonic cruise missile, its key features and why the world is watching so closely. The BrahMos missile is already the world's fastest supersonic cruise missile, cruising at Mark III. But its successor, BrahMos II, promises to be nearly twice as fast, reaching speeds of Mark VI to Mark VIII. Developed jointly by India's DRDO and Russia's NPO Machinostroenia, this missile takes heavy inspiration from Russia's Zircon hypersonic system. The Zircon or 3M22 Zircon can strike targets 1,000 kilometers away at Mark 8, making it nearly impossible to intercept. Its secret? A plasma cloud that shields it from radar detection. So what makes BrahMos 2 different? Speed, projected Mark 68, putting it among the fastest in the world. Range. Initially, 600 kilometers, but upgrades may extend it to 1,000 kilometers. Technology uses advanced scramjet propulsion, recently tested by DRDO for over 1,000 seconds, beating the US Waver Rider record. Stealth, radar-defying plasma cloud technology. Flexibility, capable of carrying conventional and potentially nuclear warheads. This missile is not just about raw power, it's about precision at impossible speeds. Hypersonic missiles are changing modern warfare. Their speed and maneuverability make traditional air defense systems nearly useless. Analysts warn, even America's advanced THAAD system could only protect small areas and defending entire nations would be unaffordable. That's why countries like Russia, China and now India are racing ahead in hypersonic technology. For India, BrahMos-2 isn't just a weapon. It's a strategic equalizer against rivals like China, which already fields its DF-17 hypersonic missile. Aircraft carriers, symbols of naval dominance, may also be their own weakness. Russia's Zircon can reportedly sink even the US's most advanced carriers with just a few hits. With China building multiple carriers and expanding its navy, India's BrahMos Milakshar could serve as the ultimate counter in the Indian Ocean region. The message is clear. Carriers are no longer untouchable. How does BrahMos 2 stack up? Against China's DF-17, BrahMos 2 will be faster, but DF-17 already has deployment advantage. Against Russia's Zircon, Similar design routes, but BrahMos-2 aims for indigenous scramjet tech against the US. America is still developing hypersonic prototypes like ARRW, but lacks an operational system. For India, mastering this technology means not just self-reliance, but also defense exports, boosting global influence. Originally scheduled for testing in 2020, the BrahMos the ton faced delays. Now, experts suggest test flights could begin around 2025-2026 with operational deployment by 2028. In parallel, DRDO's STAR missile project is sharpening India's hypersonic training and testing ecosystem, laying the foundation for BrahMos Tsako's eventual success. BrahMos 2 is more than a missile. 
It's a symbol of India's rise as a defense innovator. In a region where China is expanding its naval presence and Pakistan is upgrading its arsenal, BrahMos II offers a powerful deterrent. It fulfills the dream of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who envisioned India as a global leader in hypersonic technology. The BrahMos Mewas Hai hypersonic cruise missile could redefine modern warfare. At Mark 8, it can strike before enemies even realize they've been targeted. As India moves closer to testing and deployment, the world is watching closely. Will BrahMos II tilt the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the era of hypersonic weapons is here and India is determined not to be left behind. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing. <laughs> 